Yes, hello and welcome to Coco's Photo World. And today I want to show you how you can manipulate your pictures on the fly on the iPad or the iPhone with the app Luminance. There we go, we click tap on the app in the iPad and there's opening the library where we can see all our pictures inside. So we can also choose an existing picture when we double click on the plus sign in the right upper corner and we can also take a picture but we would like to work now with a picture inside the library and I click on it and there it is opening so we can lose a lot of filters there there's pop filter which I like very much for this picture here there's the 70s filter which is also very good and there are a lot of filters I can click on it so that you see which which filters are very good for this picture and I like them very much inside Luminance I like them more than Instagram they are more vibrant and more colorful more more deep I think so being black and white is also a very good filter for this picture and I use it a lot so if we have chosen one filter perhaps the X process or this would be very fine for this picture the vibe Oh, I think uh, the instant, instant. Mm, mm. I would like to to use to use this the seventies filter. Um, we can now go beneath the FX to the pales, and we can make some editing there in the editing mode. So we can use the hue and set it more up to make it more vibrant picture or we can make more saturation inside it but I like to, to keep down the saturation a little bit and make the, make the hue more up there we have uh, the menu for the brightness and contrast I can give more brightness to it but I would like to make it less bright and give it a little bit more contrast to it to make it more dark there's also the options for the split toning which I don't like to use now or the tone curve and we can also make more editing modes here you can see the effects the grain sepia sepia can make more more sepia into it so that is more sepia toning or we can make more we can add in vignette so when we go down up there or oh, sorry we can can make a vignette so that there is so you see that there is some vignette going up inside of it ether I don't see the vignette now but it's, it's still there and yes if we like the picture now we can make more hue there we can also crop the picture when we are doing it like this we can make it more switch there and we simply click on this tab button and then it is applied and if I would like I can also go back here I see also the things that we have done to the pictures to the picture and we can also go back just split toning so that is just corrected if we are finished with this thing we can no we cannot go to to the edits but we can share it now we can share it on Facebook or we can share it on Twitter or we can save it to the camera roll or we can copy it or send it by email and I would like to save it to the camera roll and there is the option that I can save it in original file image size or I can make it on large medium or small but I would like to take the original image size so it's saving now and it is done and now I can also open it in the library and send it thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and until then bye